Hello and welcome to your 81st SQL Server tutorial. My name is Johnny DeLuca and tonight I want to talk to you about rebuilding indexes. In my last tutorial we went over reorganizing indexes so now we're going to dive into rebuilding them. Now for indexes with a small amount of fragmentation reorganizing should be satisfactory. However, when fragmentation is greater than 30%, again, a good benchmark from which to start, you should consider rebuilding those indexes. When an index is rebuilt, it is completely dropped and recreated. Three things happen. Right here, number one, disk space is reclaimed because the pages are compacted. Two, the index rows are reordered. And third, Fragmentation is removed. Rebuilding can be a resource intensive process since the index is dropped and recreated. By default, the index and underlying table and data are not available during the index operation as the rebuild operation is an offline operation. Other select, insert, update, and delete statements will be blocked. The Enterprise Edition's online feature allows rebuild operations to be performed with minimal interruption of other connections. Therefore, setting the online option to on can help to mitigate the interruption of connections. Online indexing is available only in the Enterprise Edition of SQL Server 2012, and I'm running standard. So. To dive in, let's take a look at how we rebuild an index in SQL Server Management Studio. So we need this little script here. Okay, let's go over here. Now go ahead and type this in. And once you've got that typed in, um, let me explain this. This query here changes enough data to cause fragmentation in an index that contains the order date column. Okay, so we're going to execute it now. Okay, 300, or excuse me, 3,664 rows affected successfully. Perfect, that's what we wanted. Um, okay, so now we are going to go over to our databases folder. All right, now we're expanding AdventureWorks 2012. We're expanding our tables folder. Uh, then we're looking for sales, dot sales order header, just like this is very similar to our last tutorial. Okay, now we're going to expand indexes. Okay, now we want to right click IX underscore sales order header order date right here. Okay, and now we're going to go once we do that to rebuild okay now we have the rebuild indexes dialog box that opens up and we can note the amount of fragmentation again just like in the last tutorial it's the same 45.4545 yada 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 okay now we're going to go ahead and click ok all right and just like last time we're going to go back right click we're going to go back to rebuild. And look at that. All the way down to zero. Pretty cool, huh? Okay. So now we know how to rebuild an index using SQL Server Management Studio. Very similar to what we did in our last tutorial. Now let's take a look at how to do uh, to rebuild an index using T-SQL. So we can cancel out of here. Get rid of this guy now. Let's go grab that other script. Alright. There we go. Okay. Copy this. Go back over to our query window. And uh, for those of you guys that are unfamiliar with uh, comments, this is a comment. That means it's going to be ignored when you execute the script. It's just telling you that this operation will work only in the enterprise or developer edition and uh, as I said before I'm running the standard edition so it's not going to work but for those of you that would or that do have or 
for running enterprise or developer, if you execute this query, you're going it's going to produce the exact same results as what we just saw happen by running through SQL Server Management Studio. So uh, just let me expand a little bit on this. So rebuilding an index using Management Studio does not provide the same flexibility as PSQL. And using PSQL, you can specify several options. As you can see in this query, uh, the online operation has been specified in the with clause. So we see right here, all right? This is critical for organizations to operate 24/7. In that case, index operations can be formed can be performed at almost any time. Now, there are some restrictions to rebuilding an index online, but the process does satisfy most data needs. These restrictions could be the difference between a rebuild being feasible or not in a large enterprise environment. Okay? So that pretty much wraps it up for this tutorial. You now know how to rebuild an index using PSQL, as well as how to rebuild an index using SQL Server Management Studio. Um, please check back for my next tutorial where I'm going to be covering checking index usage, and I'm going to show you how to view index usage. So see you there. Thanks for stopping by.